Well, I hope everybody had a good New Year, New Year's Eve. Uh, this is the first video of the 2016 uh, series. And what I'm going to do is I worked an hour last night on the Millennium Beam Wing. And when I say beam wing, it's really a D-tube. But uh, I built the beam. And what I've done off camera doesn't really amount to much. I've just... Uh, added the plywood doublers in the center here and uh, I made up the leading and trailing edges so like I say that uh, that doesn't amount to much it took maybe maybe a half an hour to do that and uh, it wasn't on camera I just was tinkering but anyway today we're going to see if we can get the entire wing built. And uh, I, I pretty well rested now. <clears throat> but what we're going to do is we're going to set the, uh, kind of clear the bench so I got a little area to work. All this material, if it were to use all of it, which we're not, we have six ounce, a six ounce wing. So I'm looking for this wing to be in the five ounce ring. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to see how long it takes to cut up 56 ribs. Now I went ahead and cut these to length. And I think what I'll do is I'll square them up on the sander. So they're all the same. So I'll be get to this. Ah, that, that so now let's go through the process of making the ribs. I think what I'll do is I'll get these all started first. We'll do the nine. It took three sheets of uh, 330 seconds. get enough material to cut these ribs. Now we'll have to cut this again, but <clears throat> this is the first piece you need to cut off just to get it started. I will definitely cut out a lot of the rib cutting. <laughs> this is, if this ain't repetition, I don't know what it is. Let's see how many we got here. I know there's not enough yet. I need 56.
Okay, we need 20 more. I learned something about the uh, the last the last wing that I built this way. I needed to cut off the nose, and we're going to do all those all at the same time. And I'll show you what I mean. So, 16 left. I think what we're going to do is we're going to hold them together and sand them. The nose. Fifteen left. Fourteen left. That means those two sheets. Might as well cut a few extra. One more sheet. But I'm going to cut a few extra. Just in case I break one. Now, <clears throat> I've seen it in, in Tom's book, 16th inch ribs, and I'm using 332nd. You could use 8th inch. Okay, we're down to the last sheet, and we can start putting her together.
I suppose you could put the uh, ribs in a in a geodetic shape doing it this way. You would just have to make these tails longer. But I don't see any need for it. The thought behind the geodetic wing from my understanding was less wood. Well, how can you get less wood than this? This is pretty much less wood. I'm going to sew this wing too with Kevlar thread. I think I've shown that before. But I'll make sure to show that again. If you don't have some uh, Kevlar thread, you can get it at different places online. I get mine from Coke Plastic. And they sell phenolic and all sorts of stuff. Carbon fiber. You could probably get it from aerospace composites. Let's go ahead and cut up that last sheet so we know we got enough good ribs. Not like we're in a hurry. I have 56 here now, I believe. There should be 20 of these. Two. Four. Six. Eight. Ten. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, yep, 20. But we'll go ahead and I have this sheet that I had cut up. What this took to do was three sheets of wood. You certainly wouldn't be able to do a... Uh, a conventional wing cutting each rib out with three sheets of wood. Just no way. Unless the ribs were awful small. cut that nose off that rib on the other wing because when I turned it over I had to do some cutting and adjusting and anytime you got to cut and adjust there's some other problem I mean it worked but it wasn't perfect Adapt and overcome.
So after doing all this, um, we have our, our pieces cut and we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to clean up the bench a little bit so I'm going to take a short break. Clean up the bench a little bit and jig this thing up and we'll see how long it takes to put together. So, be back in a short. 